We're in Flen, we're in France for the final vertical of the season. It's wild and it's windy, but we're gonna have a brilliant race. On our first bad weather race of the season, it was a steep start in wet snow as all the athletes took on the same course of 520 metres of vertical. Fresh from winning the overall season individual title on Wednesday, Axel Gachemolleré was determined to make it two for two and did so convincingly with over a minute's lead from her nearest rivals. It was okay for me today because I don't have so much girl with me, so I can have my speed and it was fine until the end. Happy to end the season like this. Yeah, it was so nice to have the title. Uh, the most important for me was to have each victory and individual this year. It's the most important for me this year, so I'm, I'm really happy. In the swirling snow, the battle for second place was intense as the four athletes in the following pack, Julia Morada, Alba de Silvestro, Marcella Vashinova and Emily Harrop each found themselves waiting for the other to make a break. Vashinova of the Czech Republic finally took the plunge, finishing second by a matter of two hundredths of a second ahead of Emily Harrop of France. The successful Skyrunner was thrilled with her podium place, having not long joined the World Cup. Uh, incredible actually considering that it's my third vertical in my life so hard we were a group of four I think all the time and I thought like okay they are going to go and then they were not and I just used the opportunity and then with Emily it was wow and then I saw the second place and yeah I think I've never been happier than, than now Emily Harrop's season has been stratospheric and she finds herself days away from taking the overall season victory, something she could only have dreamed of five months ago. Uh, we were with Victoria, Alba and, uh, and Marcella and at the end, yeah, I kind of tried to accelerate a bit early. Marcella came back on me, I tried again and it was just, uh, yeah, it was tough. <laughs> and I've kind of surprised myself and even today I never thought that, you know, I would have, again, the legs to be able to reach a podium. In the vertical, I was going really without much expectations today, and uh, and yeah, and it paid off, and I'm just really happy. <laughs> In the men's category, Rémi Bonnet also made it a double for the week. In the wake of his individual win yesterday, he achieved his season's goal by winning all the vertical races and lifting the Crystal Globe as overall winner. Yeah, I give it all from the start, but the legs was uh, not responding really well, but the, the head was uh, was determined, so I, I, I pushed like uh, it was all in the head today, but uh, a good day. Great joy for the Italian team as Federico Nicolini came in second to raucous applause heard over the by now howling winds. His best position of the season put an enormous smile on his face. Yes, a good race. Uh, the weather's not good, but uh, I'm very, very happy for, uh, for this race. And this stagione is not good, but the second place the finish is perfect. Third was Thibaut Anselme of France, who now inches his way ever closer to lifting the overall title at the end of the week, threatening to topple Michele Boscacci from the top. His season has been so consistent and has shown his strength in all the disciplines. Oh, it's, a, it's a great season for me, always in the, in the top 10 and uh, with uh, some podiums. And yeah, I'm happy uh, to confirm the last season and uh, it's, it's great. That's all from the World Cup this season. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back next winter with more incredible Schemo 